Uh, Tony says, is it true that music is the instruments of Satan and that is why it is prohibited for us? Well, this was stated by some of the scholars. Not only that, in the hadith, when the Prophet ﷺ was in Aisha's house on a day of Eid, and he was lying on his side, giving his face to the wall, and there were two young girls, slaves, singing. So it's a day of Eid. And we know that on the day of Eid and on weddings, we are permitted to use the duf and to sing and to enjoy. It's a day of celebration. So Abu Bakr comes into his daughter's house. May Allah be pleased with them. And he sees the two girls singing. So he says, objecting to what he sees, Amazamiru shaitan In the presence of the Prophet ﷺ, do I see the flutes and the pipes of Satan being played? There's no music, by the way. They were just singing. And probably with the duf. So the Prophet ﷺ did not say, Oh, Abu Bakr, these are not the, the pipes and the instruments of shaitan. He did not say that to him, which means he's approving what he had said. But he said to him, leave them, Abu Bakr, so that people would know we have room in our religion for entertainment. So from this and others, some scholars said, yes, musical instruments are the instruments of Shaitan, because it corrupts the heart, unlike what most people believe, but it does. And those in the West and Muslims who are already having corrupt hearts won't be able to understand this because they've never tried living without music. Music is addictive. Music transforms you from one state of mind to the other. Go to any gym, try to do the aerobic routine without any music, and then do it with the music, and you will, feel, you will find a lot of difference. The energy that people get is from shaitan. And this is why Allah says in Ayah 64, chapter 16, Speaking to shaitan, Provoke whomever you can from them with your voice. Imam Mujahid says in the tafsir, his voice is music and singing. You can see people listening to soft music, love song, romantic songs, driving down the highway doing 5-10 miles per hour mellow, very chilling, having a good time. And when they listen to pop music or hard rock, heavy metal, you're seeing them doing 120 miles per hour. What, what is this? It's transforming them. It's controlling them. So it is a tool of shaitan. Let those who say that it relaxes you. Beethoven, Mozart, uh, Bach, whatever. It relaxes you. It's good for you when you eat dinner on candle lights and the violin is playing around. Muslims don't believe in that. Because the one who created us is the one who told us that this is haram. So should I believe you or believe Allah Azza wa Jal? Believe the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Try to watch any movie without its soundtrack. And with the soundtrack, you find people crying, weeping, emotionally involved because the music, the theme itself, that's why you have Oscars for the soundtrack. It has a huge impact on people's personality and feelings. So definitely it is something that is haram.